Now I have the pleasure and honor to introduce Dr. Len Dauphiny, Purple Foundation President and Max Linear Vice President, Chief Technology Officer of Broadband Group. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Len Dauphiny on the stage. Thank you, everyone. Uh, it's great to see everyone. I'm glad to see another uh, sellout event at Packed House. Very exciting. Um, I'm just about to uh, hit my uh, fourth year uh, as Purple President, and uh, it's really unbelievable to see the change from, uh, from four years ago. I mean, in four years ago, um, well, you'll see in the slides, I'm giving not only uh, an update on the missions and ambitions, but also kind of a status of where we are with Purple today and, and also where we were uh, a few years ago. So let's start with that. So first of all, uh, I'd like to thank our, our host and, and platinum sponsor, AT&T. Give, please give them a big hand. You know, AT&T, uh, they, they indicated that they want to come on board to, to Purple um, last year. And, uh, you know, I thought they would, you know, you know, dip their toe in, you know, slow roll, come in. And then, uh, you know, they came out, uh, Josh Goodell and the team came out to, to the Purple Summit in Paris last year and made some big statements. And now they're, they're like all in on Purple. It's great to see uh, you guys have saw, some of you guys saw Egal gave the, the, the talk this morning. Um, we're going to replay it this afternoon. But uh, you can see the enthusiasm that AT&T is showing. And that's bringing a lot of interest into Purple. And, and that's where we get the interest in Purple is, is coming from the operators. So AT&T jumping in and then making a statement by hosting it at their headquarters, it means a big deal to Purple. And it's, it's really helping us to get the message out to everyone. I'd also like to, to thank our, our platinum sponsors, Bitdefender and, and Kaon, um, longtime uh, you know, contributors and supporters of Purple. Um, you know, thanks to them, and, and also the gold sponsors, Humac, Soft at Home, and Vantiva, uh, thanks to their contributions and support, it helps us to be able to pull events like this together. Um, Purple is a not-for-profit organization. <laughs> Purple's a, a not-for-profit organization, and so, you know, we have tight budgets, and we can't do events like this without our sponsors, so really, really appreciative. Uh, uh, you know, so please, uh, please thank them as well. Um, also, this is, these events take a lot of work, a lot of coordination. Um, I want to especially thank uh, Arno, uh, Charlotte, Dave Barr, Jason, Livia, and Shelly for all the hard work they did. Thank you. So another successful purple event. Um, this is our first event in North America. Uh, officially 162 attendees, but I think they squeezed in as many people as they can. We're probably over that uh, second event, so sold out before. Um, I think we're going to roll out soon, Livia, the tickets for Paris. So um, we're hoping to have another sold out show. So please go and get your tickets early for that. It'll be a bigger and better event, probably a two day event. Um, this time we have 17 uh, demos from our members, and we have uh, three demos from uh, our, uh, our work groups. So they're in the, out in the other section there. Please go out and, uh, and, and visit them and, and ask questions about, uh, about the demos. Our mission, our mission is, uh, is, is quite simple. It's, it's really about innovation. So how do we accelerate innovation for service providers? Because service providers have a tough task when they're doing this by themselves. And when they're by themselves and they're, they're left to fend on their own and build their own software platforms, they spend a lot of money and a lot of resources working on things that the other operators are working on. And they're not really gaining any, any uh, time and money. And, and, and it's all going towards all the nuts and bolts that Purple is trying to do for them. So what we're trying to do at Purple is we're trying to bring together that ecosystem for them and free them you know, it's about freeing them so that they can go and work on innovation. 
because that's what's going to be able to drive them to the next cycle. You know, they want to be able to, to you know, hold on to those customers and bring innovation, the next generation of innovation into the home. And so that's really what we're about is, is accelerating these uh, operator inno innovations in the connected home and bringing that level of innovation. So, you know, how do we do that? So Purple, uh, a not-for-profit organization, is what we've done is we've pulled together uh, all of the service providers that we can and the OEMs and the system integrators and the semiconductor vendors and, and finally the application developers and we're bringing them together in, a, in an open source platform so that uh, we're all working together to enable this acceleration and this commonality so that we can drive innovation in the industry. So we develop these open source software platforms, but we don't do it like and reinvent the wheel. We build them based on proven industry standards, standards that the operators are already using and we're including them and we get guidance from the operator community and we include those in our platforms. And then we're, we're leveraging this, have, once we have this, uh, this common software platform, then we're able to bring in these app developers and, and it's really scale for the, oper the operators and these, uh, these app developers because developing the app for each individual software operating system is a tremendous amount of work. Whereas if they can develop it just for Purple, then it can, they can deploy on many operators. And so it's about efficiency and, uh, and enabling that. So how does the, the Purple Foundation function overall? Uh, I think I skipped ahead uh, here. Uh, so we have a product steering committee that's made up of, of operators. And they come in with, with their specifications in terms of what kind of features and requirements they want. So we do this on an annual basis. And they come in and, uh, and define the, the work for us. And then the board of directors uh, works together with operators and members to secure and allocate the funding for the projects. Next step is we go to the technical steering committee uh, led by Dave Barr, and we, he directs uh, the development, works with the, uh, the various work groups. Um, in the case, sometimes we have to create new work groups for the projects and hand out all the work and start working on the programs, uh, a mix of purple contractors and, and, and other, uh, other system integrators. And then the purpose is that we, we finally deliver these products to our members. So what it helps us do all this is we have a, a, very, a very good uh, board of directors. I'm very grateful to work with them. Um, I call them a board of action because uh, they're high energy and they, they bring a lot of good ideas. And they, they are very, very involved. Um, being a board, uh, board of director uh, member on Purple is, uh, I would say, a full-time job. So, uh, welcoming back to the board of directors is uh, Amazon. Uh, Raj Nand has just rejoined. They were on the board uh, over a year ago, but they decided that Purple was critical to their mission, and so they've rejoined. Next, we have uh, AT&T. Uh, they joined last year and were shot out of a canyon. Uh, AT&T, because they're the, the new kid on the block, uh, we give the new kid on the block the responsibility of creating the statement of work for what we're going to do for that year uh, because it gets them deep into the, to the, to the works of, of Purple. So uh, someone from uh, Jason's team, another Raj, is, uh, is working on uh, the statement of work for, for, for this year. Then we have uh, John Blackford from Broadband Form. So we, in our Charter of Rights, we have the ability to add a, a a member from the community, and it made a lot of sense to bring John Blackford in because he, uh, he's driving USP at, at uh, Broadband Forum, and USP is very essential to our high-level API. So um, we want to make sure that we're very much in sync with, with Broadband Forum, so we added John to the board. Uh, Charter, Charter joined a couple years ago. Dan Maddox uh, represents them, um, and they were, uh, they were the new kid on the block. Uh, in 23, and so they drove the statement of work for, for 23. Uh, Dave Barr represents uh, Max Linear and leads the, 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 also the technical steering committee. Orange, we have uh, Wojtek Mikowski, who came in, I think it was in uh, 21, he came in, 
And uh, we're very happy to have uh, Orange participating. They're a major contributor um, to the funding. And uh, they also ho hosted the Purple Summit last uh, fall in Paris. Qualcomm, uh, Wayne Daniel is the silver member. So we have, uh, we have 70 silver members. And the way that we work with the silver members is we have a vote. And they, they vote for who comes on to represent the board of directors. And it depends on the size of how many silver members we have. So last year, we had enough uh, members in the silver, uh, committee, uh, silver group to vote two members. So one was, uh, was Qualcomm, and the other was Vantiva. But uh, Qualcomm is actually uh, upgrading their membership, and they're going to be fully on the board as a platinum member. So there's going to be a, a, an opening in the silver membership. So the silver membership is, is something that we're, we have open right now. So we're hoping to have more companies nominate themselves uh, or other companies for the silver uh, board of directors. And we're at the size now with uh, 70 uh, silver members that we can have three members from the silver group uh, voted into the board of directors. So, so please uh, talk to Shelley or someone on the board of directors and, uh, and get your company nominated if you want to participate on the board of directors. Verizon uh, was one of the early adopters on, on Purple. They've been there uh, even uh, way before my time. And also, uh, like Orange and, and AT&T, are major contributors uh, for funding and uh, bringing in uh, new members. And last but not least, uh, we have a gold membership level. And uh, Oscar Leal from uh, Vodafone is, is the representative there. Vodafone's interest is mainly around RDK, what uh, Volta was talking about just uh, that we broke before lunch. But Oscar is also very much involved in LCM. I'm pleased to say that since Paris, uh, we've already had 12 new members join, uh, join Purple. So that's, uh, that's great. That's been only uh, a few months. So uh, really, really happy to have the new members aboard. Please uh, give a round of applause for the new members that just joined. <laughs> it's always nice to have a mix, right? So we have a couple of uh, operators. We have uh, silicon vendors. We have um, OEMs, uh, system integrators. So it's, uh, it's great to have uh, more, more board. And I'm hoping in the fall I'm going to present uh, even more members coming in. Here's our, our total uh, purple membership for, for 2024 so far to date. Um, it's grown. I had to add an extra row on here since, uh, since Paris. So it's grown quite a bit. And uh, you can look on here and see your favorite operator, your favorite silicon vendor, your favorite uh, system integrator, uh, app developer. We're really trying to build a, a very strong ecosystem so that Purple uh, de is delivering the products that uh, our, our service providers really need. And, and, uh, and we have all the ability to do that. In terms of growth, uh, I went back through the records and looked when I, when I started, uh, I started in 2020, but we had records back for, for 2019. It was only about 24 members, um, only a couple board members. Um, really, really still trying to get, uh, Purple was really still trying to get their feet under, under themselves. But uh, we're already um, going to be over 80 members so far this year, and the year's only, uh, only partway through. So I'm expecting, um, I've seen some other applications come in. I'm expecting that we're going to be over 90 by the end of the year. And uh, Shelley told me earlier that uh, we already have uh, 1,500 active GitHub users. So this is not just people that had uh, you know, uh, a, a GitHub account for Purple three years ago and they haven't logged on because, because we don't actually we have to pay for all these people. So, so we have to make sure that they're using them. If they're not using them, we, we you know, politely ask them to, to uh, either use it or, or we're taking their, their, uh, their, their user from them. And so anyway, 1,500. So we're, we're really growing not only in membership, but in active users uh, in Purple. And more members brings in more revenue. So uh, definitely the revenue has been growing quite a bit. Uh, really great to see, and that allows us to do more things and more projects. But this, this also pales in comparison to the amount of contributions that come in from the operators like Orange and Verizon and AT&T. They're investing a lot of money because they're trying to accelerate this as fast as possible. And uh, we really appreciate the support that they bring us. Um, go back. 
Uh, I said it earlier, we don't, uh, we don't, we're not really inventing new standards here. We're, we're integrating standards and we're making sure that we're using best in class standards that the operators want. So we, we have partnerships with, with all of these uh, alliances as well. And we're trying to bring in all of these best in class products and integrate them into our Purple platform. So we have broadband form, you heard John speak today. OpenWRT is our, our DNA. Uh, Linux obviously is everything's built in that. Wi-Fi Alliance with our Purple Mesh. And QA Cafe, we have a, a great relationship with, with QA Cafe that we, we built in, uh, in 2021 where they are bringing in their CD router tool for help us to have uh, certification. Um, this is my first time managing a, a, a um, standards organization and, and certification is always a sticky point. It can be expensive, it can be costly, it can be time consuming. And so what we, we really wanted to make sure that we were working on self-certification, uh, that it was not going to be expensive and it was not going to be burdensome to the OEM. So QA Cafe has been instrumental in doing that. And uh, we're still working on the certification program, which we hope to roll out pieces of it for the products uh, this year and, and some coming in the next coming years. So these are the software products that we have, Purple OS based on OpenWRT with carrier grade enhancements. Purple Mesh, uh, which is our implementation of Wi-Fi Alliance's Easy Mesh, but it also includes a, a self-organizing uh, network controller. We have our Purple Lifecycle Management uh, software containers based on Linux LXC. Purple Security, carrier grade uh, security features, you know, specified uh, as Afghani was talking about before by the operators. Our uh, high level API based on broadband form USP TR369 for device management. We have a Purple App Store and SDK that we're developing for third party smart home apps and innovations. And when you basically pick and choose any of these com software components and you build the whole thing together, we call that Purpleware. And finally, we have the Purple Cert, which is the self-certification to ensure that you're using a, a genuine Purpleware product, no forking allowed. So now, this is just showing it in a uh, high level uh, what the software stack looks like. I won't go into this in detail. And this is an example of the reference platform that we have. So we have real products, real, real uh, you know, form factor products that we're using, uh, that our developers are using. You can see the features. These are 5G capable. They have PON. They have uh, Wi-Fi, uh, Ethernet, um, voice, uh, even GFAST, DSL. So it's a, it's a complete product uh, and, and allows us to really do real testing on this so that we can, uh, we can have uh, you know, product ready purple products for the the operators. In terms of ambitions, our, our near-term ambition is really to support this product deployment and we're really driving towards uh, getting deployment in, in, in the coming year. So this is, this is how we envision this working is that uh, a member is going to come in and they're going to build a CPE product uh, with devices uh, that are chosen from our semiconductor members. Then they're going to configure and build Purpleware from the available software products that I just showed you that list. Next, they will install and self-certify Purpleware on a CPE product with Purple Cert. Then they will go to the Purple App Store, download their third-party apps from the Purple App Store to add innovation, and then uh, Whammo, deployed innovation to new customers. So that's, that's the ambition. Uh, we're still working on uh, getting to the deployment phase, but we're hoping that we're going to get there sometime in the, in the coming year. And that'll be a very exciting uh, time for us. Thank you very much. <laughs>